Today, we're not talking about shoes. We're talking flip-flops. Picture this, you've just finished a hard session. Let's call it five by one mile at 10K pace. You get in, what's the first thing you grab for? Well, it should be some water and electrolytes, but you don't even make it there. Your legs, they're cramping. Each step makes your muscles feel like they're being smashed with a fiery spiky rod. You find the nearest coach and collapse. You're longing for something to help you feel better after these long, hard efforts so you don't repeat this cycle. Well, today, I think I found that something. The Hoka Recovery Slides. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Brendan, and if you're new to the channel, we talk all things running, from running training, to running shoe reviews, to, I guess, flip-flop reviews. But the goal is always the same, to become better, stronger, faster runners. So if that's something you're into, consider hitting that subscribe button right down below. It would mean a lot, but let's talk about these flip-flops. These are the Hoka Aura Recovery Slides from Hoka. Now, Hoka says that wearing these will help you recover faster. Is that true? I don't know, I'm not a qualified sports scientist. I would need someone to come in here, put a bunch of cables on me and monitor my body to see if I am recovering faster when I have this slab of EVA foam on. I don't know. But yes, that's essentially all these are is two different densities of EVA foam. The top layer is super plush when you put your foot in it. it feels like a cloud when you're compressing it. The bottom layer is a bit more of a dense EVA foam. And I guess that would probably help with durability because I think that if you were to wear this stuff on the ground, it would be torn up in a second. Probably like we see on the Rincon. Like I've, I've worn these shoes for two months straight and there's hardly any wear on the bottom here. And I, yes, I do wear these anywhere. So yes, I'll come in the door after a long run, put these on. I'll go to the store, put these on. I'll go out for a fancy dinner with my girlfriend, put these on, but then I'll lose the argument and have to come back and change into fancier running shoes like the Triumph 17. I'm not gonna go wear fancy shoes. I like my Triumphs, I wanna be comfy. That goes to show that this shoe is very comfortable and I enjoy putting it on. Now, like I said, I can't be for sure that this is helping me recover, but I will say when I put this on, I can feel the pressure being relieved. When I'm just standing here without these on, yeah, I feel pressure in my joints, but when I put these on, that pressure is relieved. Does that mean I'm recovering faster? Who knows? There's only two things that we know 100% factual will help us recover, and that is proper nutrition and sleep. If you're not getting either of those, no amount of EVA foam is gonna help you recover. So make sure you're eating and sleeping well, and you'll recover well. This is just some cherries on top, I guess. But that just goes to show how much I love this Hoka Aura recovery slide. I wear them as much as I can. It feels super nice and relieves that pressure when I'm walking around. I don't know if it's helped me recovery though. But I don't know if there's some sort of placebo going on because I definitely do feel that my legs aren't as sore after purchasing these, but that could just be that I'm getting to become a stronger runner, who knows. But that's not the question we're asking here. We wanna know, is this worth $50? Is this slab of foam worth your hard earned $50? Now there are different recovery slides on the market, the UFOs, the Skechers Hyperburst, and those are upwards of 79 to 100 Canadian dollars anyway. I don't know what they are in US, but these are literally half the price. And is there a difference? I don't know, because I love these shoes so much for this price point that I'm not gonna go bother to spend the extra money. So yes, in terms of what's available on the market today, this Hoka Aura recovery slide is definitely worth the $50 in my eyes. Now, like I said, I can't say for sure if it's helping me recover faster, but I will say it does help relieve some pressure on my joints and they're an absolute joy to wear around the house, wear out for chores, all that stuff. They're beautiful after hard sessions. So yes, these are definitely worth 50 bucks. And if you wanna add them to your recovery tool set, go right ahead. But like I said, make sure you're eating and sleeping well beforehand. Otherwise, you're just wasting your money because they're not gonna help you recover anyway. Now on the sizing for these guys, this threw me for a loop for a little while. I had to do a lot of research and I still wasn't sure when I picked these up. So they only do like nine, 10, 11, 12. They don't do any half sizes. And that poses a problem for someone like me who has a size 10 and a half in almost every other shoe brand. So what I had to do was do a lot of research and find out that, oh, you should actually go down a size. So I, I trusted them, but I was still quite hesitant, but I'm glad I did. So I went with a size 10 in the Hoka Aura recovery slides. A little anxious when I hit that buy button, not gonna lie. But they came and it was perfect. A size 10 fit my 10 and a half foot, absolutely perfect. 
maybe even a little big if I'm being honest. Like it's, there's quite a bit of room in here. It's very wide, so if you have a wide foot, don't worry, you're not gonna have any issues with this. So yes, go down half a size, you should be fine. I was fine, happy I did. So yes, these are 100% worth that $50 price tag. You know what they feel like actually, is they feel very, very reminiscent of the Clifton 7s. Putting these on and then putting on the Clifton 7s, Honestly, if it wasn't for this lack of upper, I don't know if I could really tell the difference. I think I might do a little bit of a fun experiment with running one mile in the Hoka Aura recovery slides. Who wants to see that? I think that'd be interesting. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of this. Really enjoying these so far. I'm gonna continue wearing them each and every day. Unfortunately, the colder temperatures are coming. It feels really nice right now. It's like 21 degrees Celsius, but the winter months are coming and unfortunately I won't be able to wear these through the snow. That's all for today, folks. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know. Do you think the Hoka Aura recovery slides actually help you recover or do they just feel very plush on your feet and act as a placebo? Who knows? Anyway, thank you all so much. I will see you on the next one. See ya later.